My name is Anissa Hanim Binti Shahruddin from BITC S1G2. I'm 19 years old. I'm studying Bachelor of Computer Science, Computer Networking with Honours. My name is Fatih Nur Umairah Miti Anangahar. I am 19 years old. I am from the ITC S1G2. I am studying in Bachelor of Computer Science, Computer Networking with Honours. Hi, my name is Nur Fatnil Farina Binti Abdullah from the ITC S1G2. I am 19 years old, studying Bachelor of Computer Science, Computer Networking with Honours. But wait, don't forget to like, comment, and share our project. And now, you can continue to our lesson. Enjoy!
customers, this is a declaration part where we declare array and string. In array, we use space 40 because we want the array space equal to 40 bytes. This is because an integer equal to 4 bytes since we need to input 10 random numbers so 10 times to 4 equal to 40 so we need to have a array space of 40 bytes. is the declaration of variable for command li dollar sign v04 until sys call this is a format output command in assembly language and for la dollar sign s1 array it is a command to load array into s1 in this program we need to input 10 integers so we create a loop input function in this function we need to ask user to input numbers. Next, the SW command is a command where we store the number into array position 0 and then move the array position into 4 by adding 4 into S1. Next, PNE, which is a command if T1 not equal to 10, it will go back to the loop input to make a looping process. For the sorting part, for the first line, since P2 is still 0, we can just skip to the next line. In line 33 and 34, we use LW command which is load word to load number in array position 0 to T3 and array position 4 to T4. In line 35 and 36, this is the instruction for moving array position. Next. We compare both C3 and T4. If T3 is greater than T4, we'll back to the sorting function. And if T3 is less than T4, we store the value of T3 into the current position and T4 in previous position. For line 40, if T2 is not equal to 9, it will go back to the sorting function to make a looping process. In this continue function, we will continue the sorting process. For this BNE command, if T1 is not equal to 9, it will go back to the sorting function and repeat the same process. And this command is a command where we will display the descending or the message. Moving to print sorting function. In this function, we will print all the descending numbers. We use LW command to load the number inside the array to register L0. And this command will print out the space message. For BNE command, if T1 is not equal to 10, it will go back to the print sorting function to make a looping. As we can see, from line 65 to 68, we use sub command to make T1, T2, T3, and T4 into 0. Then, it load the array into register 1 again. Next, we print out the sum message. Now, we move on to the sum function. In this function, LW command will load the number in array to T3 one by one. Then, we add it into T4. For add immediate command, is for increment of T1. And for BNE command, if T1 is not equal to 10, it will go back to the sum function to make a looping. Once the loop is done, T4 will hold the value for sum. And next, we print out the result. Now, we need to get the average. Since we already have the sum value, it's easier for us to find average. In this command, we declare t7 equal to 10 and for divide command, we divide t4 with t7 which is t4 is a sum value and this is a command for move position to s7 and move reminder to s6. Then, we print out the question and the reminder. To end the coding, 
we will move the last part which are maximum and minimum. Since we are already arranged the number in descending order, the first number in array would be the biggest number and the last part in array would be the smallest number. So, we use T5 as a maximum value and T6 as a minimum value. LW command will load value of maximum and minimum into T5 and T6. Then, we print out the maximum and minimum value. Lastly, we will use this command to end the program.